Hello, my name is Gillian Sikkevin. I am here because I want to share with you my story, The Ugliest Sweater, um, coming soon from Nine Star Press. I want to tell you a little bit about it and then I'm going to read an excerpt from it. Um, the Ugliest Sweater is not the first story I've written. I have written fan fiction. I've written three stories for the MM Romance Group on Goodreads Don't Read in the Closet event. I had a lot of fun doing those and I worked very hard on those stories and the Don't Read in the Closet stories in particular um, they went through a really robust editing process. Um, I worked with a beta reader, an editor, proofreaders, um, formatters, quality assurance, and that was a great experience and um, I fully consider those stories to be published. This, The Ugliest Sweater, is the first story I've published with a price tag. So it is terrifying and extremely exciting at the same time. Um, you can see it has a beautiful cover designed by Aria of Nine Star Press. My black and white Kindle Paperwhite does not do it justice. It is, the sweater is really lovely shades of pink and orange and it's just this really beautiful, please go and look at the, the actual cover so that you get something to compare it to. Um, so I'm excited about the cover, obviously. And um, Raven, my editor at Nine Star, did an amazing job. Um, I worked hard on this story. Raven made me work even harder. She found some really embarrassing typos. And she gave me some really great suggestions to kind of round out the story, make it even stronger. And the result is a story that I am honestly very proud of, really excited to share with everyone, and I really look forward to hearing what everyone thinks of it. So, I'm going to read an excerpt. I'm just going to read you the first scene and my reasoning for this is that when I was 11 my mum took me to see an actor who was reading the works of Charles Dickens as if he was Charles Dickens. Now um, Charles Dickens used to do reading tours of Europe and the Americas where he would go and do dramatic readings of his stories. These were really hugely popular and having seen the actor I can see why he really brought the stories to life in a, in a really amazing way. Um, I'm not going to do a dramatic reading. I am worried that I would kick over my laptop if I did. It's kind of it's on a stool with on two cardboard boxes so that you're looking at my face and not my knees. But um, I, will, I will do my best, and I hope you enjoy it. So, The Ugliest Sweater, Chapter 1, Scene 1 Absolutely not. Aston stood in the kitchen doorway, wearing Abercrombie and Fitch and an expression of disgust. Dan looked over his shoulder and swallowed. Morning, he started. Don't morning me. Aston's eyes flashed. Dan had spent the week psyching himself up for this, but he still took a step back. When riled, Aston could be very sarcastic. Have you lost your goddamn mind? That's a bit harsh, isn't it? Dan looked down at himself. It's only a sweater. Aston snorted. That is only a sweater the same way the Titanic was only a bit of a wreck. Dan forced a laugh. You can't compare a sweater to an actual tragedy. That sweater is an actual tragedy. Honestly, Dan, have you gone blind? Dan smoothed his hand over the sweater. It was three different shades of red, five of green and two of brown. The knitter had been unable to choose between subtly seasonal Shetland techniques 
or boldly pledging their allegiance to all things Santa, so had combined both. It was a seasonal train wreck in garment form. Even his dad, widely acknowledged as having absolutely no taste in anything, blanched at the sweater. I quite like it. Aston shut his eyes and shuddered. His white t-shirt was far too lightweight for London weather, but it showed off his tan. Thirty pounds for ten minutes at a salon off Earl's Court. How could you do this to me? I'm not asking you to wear it. No, Aston folded in his arms. I am not dating a man who is willing to be seen looking like something a reindeer puked up. Dan steeled himself. It's me and the sweater, or not at all. So that is the first scene. If you'd like to read more, please go to the Nine Star Press um, website where the rest of the preview is available. And if you enjoyed my reading, please let me know. I'm thinking about reading my um, nano project, little excerpts of this. So if you enjoyed and uh, if you enjoyed this and want to see more, please let me know. If you didn't enjoy this and do not want to see more, that is helpful too. And I'd love to hear your thoughts, whether here on YouTube. I'm also available on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. You can email me. I am excited to know what you think. So please get in touch and I will talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.